then yes okay uh, kefra kefra is a little i'm asking the which kind of motion motion i'm i'm asking very simple question often that the uh, say high school student can answer such a level. I, I think you don't understand my English. Uh, no, no, my question. That is the reason you cannot answer. What, what is the three kind, different kind of motion? You can find it. Motion. Motion. I, I, I recall that, isn't it you are making this? What kind of the experiment you did it? Experiment in the last time you explained me. <laughs> I changed my question. Okay. <laughs> Don't go that direction. Anyway, what kind of three kind of motion? Oh, oh, oh. I would not ask you. How about you? When you learn the two body problem in the, uh, in the first year that the freshman in the university in the physics course, you should run. You run it. What is a trajectory and this kind of motion, that kind of motion? You don't know it? Next one. No? How about you? Ooh. I'm afraid that my way of the question, how about you? Two body problems. No. You don't know. How about you? Three kind of motion. Rotation. Rotation. Uh, actually, no. That's, that somebody can answer my question. Raise your hand. If you don't, I mean, don't shake. You, you, yes. Three kind of, of motion. Kind of different kind of motion. Three kind of motion in two body problem. Circular motion is a special case of elliptic motion. But that is what my question. You are, say, I can give you the 90, <laughs> not 100. <laughs> but the, yes, elliptic motion and unbound, okay, elliptic motion is bounded, trapped. And another motion is a hyperbolic motion. It is a scattering, unbounded. What is the name between, just between the hyperbolic, uh, the hyperbolic and the elliptic? One name. Between hyperbolic and uh, elliptic motion, what is the, just in the border? Parabola. So, Newton show there is a three kind, the motion of the uh, planet or comet, celestial body it's called. Celestial body is uh, classified in this three group. 
and it's called conic motion. And uh, it's a cone, you know, ice cream cone. And you cut it, and the appearance of this shape is a shape of the motion. The, after the Newton is, uh, solved this Newton's equation, people try to go to much complicated problem. That, that is one of the main talk, is a three-body problem now. Two-body problem is only two. But three body means like uh, sun, earth, and moon. Or maybe the, another kind of the motion is that the, in the very behind you, you, what is the heaviest planet in the solar system? You, you don't, I mean, you can say in Japanese. Then translate to in English. What is heaviest or largest planet in the solar system? What? You can ask your friend around there. <laughs> yes, you don't need to answer. You can chat with him. You can do the chat. In the behind, it, 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 very end. Yes, yes. Or next one. Any, I mean, around there. Answer. <laughs> planet. Planet. I'm asking planet. Okay, then I can ask another way. In the solar system, heaviest body is sun. What is the next? You can. Jupiter. Correct. Jupiter. So, uh, look. Therefore, another typical example of the three-body problem is sun, Jupiter, and Earth such kind of a combination, OK? And uh, nobody could solve it, actually. And then many, many method is invented. And then it's come to the Hamilton. Somebody told that the Hamilton's equation of motion is a very elegant way to approach this kind of problem. And the concept of the canonical transformation is emerged. But later, this the formulation becomes very powerful when you go to the quantum mechanics. So there is a kind of the historical reason which is developed. And then, so I will first explain what is a, uh, equ Hamilton equation of motion. Then next, uh, I will explain a little bit about the Liouville equation for the distribution function of the ensemble. Then, our symmetry, we go invariant of motion is a title. Uh, let's see that the, and then uh, each by each, I will, and uh, very important concept is a cyclic Hamiltonian. Ah, today my talk, I also, mainly I will talk about classical mechanics. But the, all this concept, are very important to understand deeply the quantum mechanics. You see, that the, if really you are truly the researcher of the physics, you should really understand both classical mechanics and the quantum mechanics. The, don't say that the quantum mechanics is a modern, classical uh, quantum, uh, then therefore you don't need to run the classical mechanics, no. M deeper you understand the classical mechanics, you deeply understand the quantum mechanics.